Hey people, this is becoming the end of sit at home in South East. Make gonna help me share this video, share this video, let this video go viral so that the people and the South East now will see and watch the plan where Nigeria Chief of Army has for us. Anyway, today there's a conference where Chief of Army promised and vow say that the sit at home in South East is definitely gonna end with other. Uh, uh, South House, other insecurity or insurgency in other parts of Nigeria that they will make sure they deploy their services to make sure that this is at home and other insurgency in other parts of uh, you know Nigeria comes to an end. Make gonna share this listen to waiting in talk. In the northwest, the insurgency and the terrorism in the northeast, farmers said that clashes kidnapping in the north central the insurrection that is brewing in the southeast and even economic sabotage and associated crime crimes in the south south region so we're not going to leave any of these zones unprotected or without attention we will continue to conduct our operations under the auspices of operation other than Daji in the northwest and our intent is to upscale manpower and equipment in all these various theaters so that quickly we can bring the much desired peace stability and relief to law-abiding citizens shed more light on the packages under the insurance you said army will soon pay families of this the army is not paying insurance. The okay. federal government is paying insurance. The federal government, federal government has a scheme called the group life assurance. It is an insurance scheme designed to give succor to families of departed warriors. And this scheme works in such a way that the government pays premium to the insurance company and in the event of death the insurance company pays claim to the families of our uh, deported heroes however we have a backlog between the year 2012 and 2022 when claims were not paid and some people died in the course of service to the nation so the insurance company is not at liberty to pay claim for premiums not paid and that is why the federal government has taken it upon itself at this stage to discharge that backlog and bring relief to the families of our departed colleagues it is with all sense of humility that i wish to express the nigerian army's gratitude once again to the president Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Chinumbu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, for directing that all pending group life assurance payments owed to the families of our departed warriors be paid without delay. <clears throat> to align with the directive of the Commander-in-Chief, President Bola Ahmed Chinumbu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, that the armed forces and other security agencies should decisively deal with all security challenges facing the country, we must continue to conduct ourselves in a manner that reflects us as a committed force. In line with this, I conceived my command philosophy to transform the Nigerian army into a well-trained, equipped, and highly motivated force towards achieving our constitutional responsibilities within a joint environment. Um, this is a very good news for people, people with the South, people of Southeast, because sit at home has done so much bad and good. The inflation, the high rise of everything, and people assist enforcing sit at home. Hopefully, and hopefully, we hope. This is a this uh, um, uh, deployment of the you know the army and the forces. I hope they will deploy them in some rural and urban urban parts of you know Nigeria because there's some especially those rural areas where there's no forces. 
they will do they do anything they if you force people to sit at home they force this uh, this sit at home on people even though people are tired of sitting at home because sitting at home won't provide food for you sitting at home won't provide anything for you Be, because and uh, a company with this security a company with the with the inflation in nigeria and people are sitting at home people are commenting and people are lamenting and is actually affecting the economy mostly in southeast if actually um the implementation will you know the, will, the this what they say will be implemented it will be of benefit to south Indians and people of south Indians and also the government of south Indians. what do you think on this video please kindly comment your opinion at the comment section and don't forget to share this video